Ladies and gentlemen, it is Tuesday, and you know what Tuesday means. It is update day for Call of Duty, for Warzone, for multiplayer, for everything. And today we are going to be talking about everything that actually changed in today's update. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, it's a little bit smaller of an update. So we're also going to be talking about the next things coming in upcoming updates today as well. Because there are some big things coming with Season 3. We just don't know when, and we don't exactly know what some of them are. But you'll see what I mean by that later in today's video. As far as what we're talking about today, there was a new operator added today. We're going to be talking about that. There's new game modes in multiplayer and kind of new game modes in Warzone. We'll get to that. But first, I just wanted to let you guys know that, as always, Monday through Friday, I am streaming at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day, Monday through Friday, over on Twitch. So if you want to check that out, of course, I will be streaming tonight. It is the first link down in the description. The other thing is, is if you enjoy what you see here, you like my videos, you watch them frequently, one of the best ways to stay up to date on all of my content is by hitting that subscribe button and turning notifications on. Recently, I was looking at my analytics and I saw that only 16% of the people who normally watch my videos are actually subscribed to the channel so if you like what you see you've been watching my videos it is an option to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on but without further ado let's dive into today's update so normally when i do these update videos i start with the new updates in multiplayer and warzone but i think today we're going to start with the store items just because this is where we see the new operator as you can see here this is the ronin operator bundle as always every operator bundle is 2400 cod points about 24 dollars american a little bit cheaper than that but with this bundle the first thing you get is the new operator named Ronan. Now Ronan has a little bit of a cool story because he's based off of a real life human being named Tulam who was an ex-Green Beret who then retired and made his own company called Ronan Tactics which sells weapons, gear, four weapons and things along those lines and now he is an operator within Modern Warfare and with this bundle the first thing that you unlock is the Lone Dragon skin for Ronan looking pretty beastly kind of like he does in real life literally looks like he could kill you with his bare hands. After this, you also unlock the Soulful Wanderer, which is a blueprint for, I believe, the M4A1. And with this, it has the Tack Light barrel on it, which is actually kind of crappy. I don't like that barrel on this gun. But everything else on this weapon is actually pretty good, but the Tack Light barrel. And then the second one is a pistol called the Peace and Tranquility, which also looks pretty good, kind of going with that green theme. After this, you get a new melee weapon called No Masters. This is actually a big deal. This is the first ever melee weapon in Modern Warfare to not be a knife. It's obviously some sort of axe thing that we're looking at here. And this is the first one. And as you're seeing on screen, this is actually Prestigious Key's picture. But it looks sweet with Damascus on it here. But... This is interesting because this opens up a lot of opportunities to add other types of melee weapons that we've never seen before in Modern Warfare. Because like I said, up until this point, it's only been various types of knives. After this, of course, you get the normal things like a Operator Quip on top of that, a finishing move, as you're seeing here. It's actually the one we saw in the Season 3 trailer. After this, we get some other things like emblems, calling cards, stickers, the normal things that you get in bundles. So I think it's a pretty good deal. Normally, these bundles are 2400 COD points, so nothing has changed there. The second new bundle that was added this week is called the Fool's Gold 2. And with this one, you get two weapon blueprints, as you are seeing here. I believe this one's for the Odin. After this, we have, I believe, the Origin 12 Shotgun. Uh, and then after this, just some emblems, calling cards, sprays, the normal things that we see every week. Moving over to the multiplayer side of things, you're going to notice right away, a lot of playlists have been removed. In fact, I believe more have been removed than added this week. You're going to notice Realism Ground War, for example, is gone. And it's interesting. It's almost like they're amping up for a bunch of new playlists to come out that didn't come out this week. So what we do have this week is once again, the 3v3 gunfight tournament is once again back. As you can see, I've already beat it, but the new rewards that were there last week, I believe the top tier for winning the tournament is an AUG variant, is still there. The 3v3 tournament is still there. Hopefully they update these every two or three weeks or so, but as of right now, it's still a 3v3 one. On top of that, the new playlists are, first of all, cranked. This is one that we have seen before. This is the game mode where if you kill an enemy, you immediately are put on a timer to get your next kill. It actually makes it so people move around a little bit more. In my opinion, it is just a faster and better version of Team Deathmatch, which you always like to see. On top of that, another new playlist called Cabin Fever has been added. And essentially what this playlist is, is just a bunch of small maps all put into one. It includes Rust, Shipment, 
Shoot House, Candor Hideout, and Hackney Yard. So kind of a strange variety of maps, but it's mostly small maps. And in fact, most of these maps, other than kind of shipment, are the ones that I really do enjoy playing in this game. So I actually really enjoy this playlist. And of course, just like any other combination of map playlists, it's a variety of different game modes, ranging from Team Deathmatch, Kill Confirmed, those normal respawn game modes. Now moving over to the Warzone side of things, you're going to notice when you hop in here, there is absolutely nothing new. First of all, BR solos, BR trios, and quads are still all here, and then plunder is supposed to be plunder trios this week, which isn't new, that's the way it was from the start, but it is still plunder duos in my game and everyone that I have talked to. So I don't know if that is changing later today, but as of right now, it is still plunder duos. Now, like I said, everything else is the same, which to me kind of sucks. I'm at the point in Battle Royale or Warzone where I kind of want something new. I want something to change up, then add something to the map. I a new sort of game mode and as of right now we are not getting that that being said though we should be getting that somewhat soon now the reason why i say that is because uh, generally speaking about four weeks into any season we get a mid-season update that's the next title update after that big one for the first of the season and in that update, generally speaking, we get a new map, new weapon, sometimes a new operator character, and all of that kind of stuff. And we know a bunch of this stuff that's coming, we just don't know when. It is either going to be next Tuesday or the Tuesday after. So I thought for the rest of this video, we should talk about what those things are that are going to be coming throughout the rest of Season 3. So the first thing that we know is BR Duos should be coming out either next week or the week after. Even if it's not a part of the mid-season update, I could see it coming out before then. Um, but we should be getting that soon. I'm just not exactly sure what that date is. Also, if we go ahead and look at the roadmap for season three, you'll see a bunch of stuff that is not in the game yet. So first of all, Ishkra, that is the other new operator for season three. I'm guessing that she will not come out until later in season three, not even mid season, probably closer towards the end of it, kind of like Talon did for season two. Also the multiplayer map hard hat. Now this is obviously going to be a remake map from modern warfare three hard hat was a fan favorite map it's a relatively small map that is being added into the game we just don't know when once again i think that one will be with the mid-season update which is either going to be next tuesday or the tuesday after i'm kind of leaning more towards the tuesday after which would make that may 4th on top of that there are two new multiplayer playlists that we haven't seen yet including gun game reloaded which it sounds like gun game just with new weapons and reinfected ground war which is infected ground war but they're probably going to be changing up some of the rules on top of that a new weapon which looks like the saw from call of duty 4 is coming back and then gunsmith customs which if you don't know what that is that's essentially the ability to put any of the blueprint attachments that you've unlocked on your weapons at any time you don't have to use that specific blueprint of the weapon you can use any of those attachments on your weapons which is going to be pretty cool once they add that in there is another thing that we know that they are adding that is not on the roadmap and that is another mastery camo similar to the damascus camo we don't know what it's going to look like and on top of that we don't know how it is going to be unlocked but this is what we do know on April 10th, Newbie Gaming asked Joe Seacott and Art Peasant on Twitter, who are two of the developers at Infinity Ward, he said, I'm just wondering when we'll learn more about the new mastery camo and new weapon mastery challenges. And Joe Seacott responded saying, it should be in the mid-season update and it will require gold to be unlocked for the weapon before it will progress. It will take a long time. So I don't know whether this is going to work for multiplayer or Warzone or both or just Warzone, but you will need gold on a given weapon to actually go ahead and unlock this new camo we don't know what it'll be called but it'll be similar to damascus with seemingly harder challenges because joe seacott said it will take a very long time and as he said there this should be happening in the mid-season update which as we mentioned i'm guessing is going to be on may 4th so all of this is going to be happening in season three and i'm guessing there probably is going to be a little bit more it's strange to me that we haven't heard anything about map changes or anything like that in warzone or any different types of game modes but i'm interested to see when that'll happen if that will happen i'm guessing we'll do something in season three the question is when if I'm being honest with you guys, I'm kind of disappointed in today's update. It almost seems like they took more out of multiplayer than they added. And on top of that, they didn't add anything new to Warzone. Now, they are gearing up for that mid-season update, as we talked about, which is going to add a lot of new things. But as of right now, 
I'm just kind of caught here twiddling my thumbs waiting for something to happen. So if you agree with me, let me know what you think down in the comments. If you disagree with me, also feel free to let me know what you think down in the comments or just let me know what you think of the update in general. Also, if you enjoyed the video, found it informative, I always do appreciate it. If you do hit that like button, it really does help with the channel. And if you're new around here and want to stay up to date on all my videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn notifications on. And until next time, guys, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're